Okay. The other part of um, the other part of cell junctions, these are called communicating junctions. Just from the word communicate. It's a junction that it's a it's a junction that allows communication between cells. So what's the definition? The cell junction which permit the intercellular exchange of substances are called communicating junctions. These junctions permit the movements of ions and molecules from one cell to the other. Example of uh, these communicating junctions are what we call the gap junctions and chemical synapses. Uh, examples of uh, communicating junction. So this is the this is a structure of a gap junction, very common in uh, the body. So the gap junction is an intercellular junction that allows passage of ions and smaller molecules between the cells. It is also called the nexus. Okay, nexus. Now, this ju uh, gap junction you find in organs such as the heart, the, uh, the basal part of the epithelial cells of the intestinal mucosa, etc. Now, mm, the, 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 the gap junction is made up of uh, a protein called connexin. It's made up of a protein called connexin, or also called connexons. Okay. Now, connexon comprises of six connexin subunits. Two connexons in series form one gap junction that spans the membrane of both cells. So the prominent protein on the gap junctions are connexons. Okay. So membrane of the, we can say that each channel consists of two halves. Each half belongs to one of the two adjacent cells. Each half of the channel is surrounded by six subunits of proteins, which are called connexins. Okay. So in terms of uh, diameters, th they form about three nanometer gap. Okay, three nanometer gap. So the, the cell membranes are so close to each other. But in between, there is a pore which allows substances to move. So the, this pore can be opened or closed. This pore can be opened or closed. This is a very important physiological situation. The, the, the pores can be opened or closed. So what's the mechanism? So the, these pores are regulated by the intracellular calcium ions. So when the concentration of calcium ions increases, the protein subunits of the connexin, okay, the protein subunit of the connexin surrounding the channel, they come closer to each other by sliding. So the diameter of the channel will decrease. The ch diameter of the channel is also regulated by pH, it is also elect, uh, regulated by electrical potential, hormones, or neurotransmitters. Okay, this is what we can say for now. Okay. Now, functions of these gap junctions. It allows the passage of small molecules, the ions, chemical messengers, etc. It's also important for the propagation of an action potential. Okay, an action potential is just an electrical impulse. They move from one cell to the other. Okay, because the brain, you can only understand electrical impulses. Now, examples of gap junctions, we can find them in the heart. Okay, the heart is made up of cardiac muscles. And for, for the muscles to communicate with each other, they are held together by this, this uh, communicating junction called the gap junction. Okay? Here. The gap junction, or somewhere here. So this cell can communicate with this other cell, which helps the heart to contract as a unit.
Okay, so that's the importance. It helps the heart to contract as a unit. A condition, a situation we call them syncytium. When the heart is contracting as a unit, it's called a syncytium. The other definition of a syncytium is cytoplasmic continuity. So the gap junctions allows continuation of the cytoplasm. Apart from the heart, we have um, a gap junction in the intestines, the epithelial lining, and many others. Okay, this is also showing gap junctions. That is communicating between cells or neurons. We know that neurons are excitable cells. They get excited when they are stimulated and they're able to carry an action potential. Now, for action potential to be propagated, it passes through the gap junctions. So from one neuron to the next neuron through the gap junctions. Okay. So these are examples of uh, gap junctions. So in short, what we've said is that uh, the communicating junctions, they allow or they permit the intracellular exchange of substances. And the gap junctions from molecular level, they are made up of a protein called connexin. And a group of connexins, they produce what we call connexons. Okay, so a connexon will have six connexins subunit. Okay, so this is where we end. Thank you very much.